Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Tiffany and this is Interlife Homeschool. Today I'm answering 10 questions about my homeschool life or our homeschool life. Um, this is a tag from Strong Mind Soft Heart. Joelle, thank you so much for tagging me. Um, Joelle has a wonderful uh, YouTube channel that I've been really enjoying. I've only just recently discovered her and um, I really enjoy her videos. So if you like my videos, you might like her videos as well. Um, we're all around homeschooling and family life and all those kinds of things. So you can pop over there. I'll leave her link to her YouTube channel in my description box below. I am a homeschooling mum of two beautiful kids. We live in the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. We love um, our home and we're, we're so close to uh, waterfalls and beaches and we love our adventures and we have a very hands-on learning lifestyle. Um, we believe homeschooling is a lifestyle, so we encompass that in everything that we do. And um, I'm super passionate about um, childhood learning and all of the things that associate with that, including, you know, um, motherhood and home organization, homeschool organization. So if you like those kinds of things, I invite you to subscribe and um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the episodes that I have coming up. So the first question is, um, were you homeschooled? No, I was not homeschooled. I attended a primary school in a small country town. There was under a hundred students, um, I had a very, it was a very uh, quiet and simple childhood. With, um, I grew up on a farm and it was, uh, we, we lived quite a ways from everybody. So it was a bit of a drive to get anywhere. Um, if we wanted to go to friends' houses or things like that, we did have to travel. But I had a very traditional approach to my education. Okay, so question two is, did you always know you would homeschool your children? No, I did not. Um, I certainly wasn't um, even understanding the meaning of homeschooling uh, when I had kids. Um, I definitely, when I first, when I first had, um, when I had my first child, my son, I, um, my world completely changed. I had no idea that, although I wanted, always wanted kids, I um, had no idea that it would change who I was and change my, um, what was important to me as well. Everything changes when you have children. And I think that I wasn't even prepared to, I didn't even think that I would want to be a stay at home mum or any of those kinds of things. I thought that, uh, you know, I would have my child and, you know, a little while that they would be ready for a daycare. And then I'd go into back into, you know, the career path that I had planned. And um, something that parenthood has definitely taught me is that things do not go to any plan whatsoever um, and that you kind of have to, you, you do evolve and things definitely do change. So no, I didn't anticipate homeschooling. That was certainly not on my radar. It was very quick and sudden change and I was thrown into it, but I wouldn't be where I am today without homeschooling and I wouldn't have um, have the things in my life that I value dearest now um, if we didn't follow that homeschooling path and we certainly wouldn't be the close, the, the incredibly close family that we are um, without homeschooling. So I'm glad that that, that happened. Three, uh, so question three, what are your three favorite books in your homeschool library? Okay, so my three favorite books um, in terms of like, I'm assuming this is like resources, because it's our homeschool library. Well, I'm kind of cheating, but I'm classing this as one book. Um, this is our uh, Nature, Food and Farm Anatomy books from Julia Rothman. Um, so I got the box set. They, she has got a C one as well since I purchased these. I haven't gotten that yet, but um, I really love these for inspiration around um, homeschooling. I think the kids really respond well to her simple and beautiful illustrations 
and it really um, also inspires our nature journaling too. So we definitely use these the most. Um, that said, uh, they're not Australian, so they don't include any of the Australian animals, which is a real shame. And I'd love to find something that is similar for Australian animals. However, it, it really doesn't affect us too much. It, it's, it's, a great, it's a great resource and we do definitely use it a lot. The other one is always going to be an Atlas book. So I do have my eye on uh, maps as well because I think it is really beautiful, but I do love these big, amazing um, map books where the kids, I can pop these out on a coffee table when we're, you know, covering a certain area in the world and they can kind of see visually what is there and they love looking through this stuff and it really gets them engaged with the learning and actually understanding what is what can be found in those areas so um, uh, the other book that I find really really used a lot and so I kind of decided this around um, what we actually use a lot of because I think that's probably our favorite isn't it so um, this is actually a relatively new book it's um, the uh, Curiosity Natural World, um, a wonderful, a wonderful resource as well. This one came with a beautiful poster, which my my daughter um, took and put on her wall. Okay, so next question: Are you the only teacher? Does your spouse help, outsource help, or tutors? Okay, um, it's a tricky one, but. I will say in, in direct answer to, uh, to that question, are you the only teacher? Does your, yes. Okay, so um, no, I'm not the only teacher. I consider um, Aiden, my husband, uh, definitely much a teacher um, as well. Or I guess I consider, you know, we have a homeschooling lifestyle. So any anyone that offers information that, you know, whether it be the librarian or, um, you know, when we're looking for a book and she tells us, you know, uh, teaches us how to, to find that book, teaches the kids how to find that book, or we go and we investigate stuff with her help, um, finding specific things in the library. I consider her a teacher. <laughs> like, I think anyone that offers information and um, helps us in some way to uh, educate our kids in you know the the real life and um we do lots of little courses and art and craft activities you know we also go to a co-op i consider the other parents there they are wonderful and they have so much knowledge to give i consider them teachers i think they all have um something to to teach someone and something to to learn from someone um so it's a bit of a that's a bit of a tricky question from for me personally but um, I do consider everyone that offers us uh, information as a service and um, all of those kinds of things, I consider them to, to help educate my kids in our homeschooling lifestyle. Okay, so number five, where is your favorite place to buy a homeschool curriculum? I have, I find curriculum everywhere. I go on rabbit trails. Um, I really enjoy finding bits and pieces through blogs. So, um, but I usually find those blogs through Pinterest. Um, but usually that's because I'm like specifically in search for something to address a goal or something that the kids specifically want to learn. Um, I really do love buying unit studies and finding unit studies from other educators and um, also unit studies that people have compiled and created on on a blog um so and then i kind of add my own sort of stuff to that as well with bits and pieces that i found okay so i, I don't really have a favorite place to buy homeschool curriculum um i tend to buy it in little bits and pieces um but i do really enjoy homeschool bundles or nature bundles or things like that so I guess it would probably be Instagram um, because those are the kinds of things that I usually that's how I find them um, I really do love uh, curriculum from your natural learner 
um, it's a, ch a child's world curriculum, I think it's called. Um, I'll link that in the descriptions below. That is one that I have constantly come back to. However, um, I'm pretty disappointed as well because uh, grade three has been quite delayed and um, I've pre-purchased that. So I'm a little disappointed because we're already heading into grade five now. However, I'm, I'm happy when it, when it does come out. Um, I know that there's been quite a few uh, things pop up for um, Leah, who is the creator of um, A Child's World. So uh, just got to be patient and wait for it, I suppose. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's probably one of my favorite curriculums so far. Uh, I have lots, I have lots that I love, um, but that's one. I'm trying to keep this short. Okay, so the next question is, do you have a set budget for your homeschool? <laughs> um, <laughs> just a laugh, <laughs> give it away. Uh, set budget, no. However, I do, uh, kind of. I We put away money for, um, and we set aside money for homeschooling, um, just like you would with tuition, um, which is what we were doing originally. Um, so that allows us to have family holidays that allows us to, uh, decide together what we want to do with that money. Um, we try to be as generous as possible. That is, you know, because we do have a homeschooling lifestyle. It's all about, you know, real life learning. Um, and if I can give my kids the experience over the book, then I will, um, I'd love to travel. Uh, more one day but right now we're um, we're just focusing on what's around us and how we can you know go to go to around us and find those those things and experience those things so that's where most of our money goes um, and that is that is a very specific choice for us and it's not for everybody but that is definitely something that we have noticed has just brought joy to our kids so we don't want to take that away um, so we prioritize that um, that said, we also, you know, bought the kids um, bikes, uh, new good quality bikes for um, achieving a specific goal that they wanted to achieve. And we supported that and we used our education money for that. Um, so when you're looking at budget, I guess that, you know, that's not necessarily curriculum that I'm spending the money on. Um, however, I do, but I tend to be more modest with my expenses in terms of curriculum. And I do try to piece together as many um, affordable curriculums as possible as well. So um, I really think that that is a very personal choice, but um, we definitely we definitely do have a, I guess we do have a budget, um, but it is generous in the sense that we see that as our whole um, family experience and that's where the memories are made and that's where the, you know, the, the really good stuff is. So, yeah. Uh, number six, do you have a set? Oh, sorry. Uh, number seven, what are two must have homeschool supplies? <sighs> what are two must have homeschool supplies? Internet connection, library. You really can't go wrong with those two things combined. Um, if it were three, I would say car because you kind of need to get to places as well. But um, yeah, so I, I see the library as my one of my resources. I love how much we have at our library. Um, we're really lucky like that. So you can hold library books online as well, which is what I love. And I can just collect it, which is, is super convenient. Um, number... Uh, number eight, what is your favorite or least favorite subject to teach? If you hadn't asked me that maybe two, maybe three years ago, I would have said math. <laughs> but then that was because I didn't find the curriculum that I like to teach. Um, having since discovered that it was just that I disliked math because of the way I was taught math in school made me realize that I'm actually really good at math. Um, I just looked at it very, very differently to how I was taught. Um, 
So, and my kids are actually very similar with that too. So we do lots of hands-on learning. Um, we're currently doing a curriculum with uh, Simply Charlotte Mason, which is a pet store and um, we're running a pet store and they're learning so much from that. And it is so much fun and um, lots of math, lots of math involved in that. Uh, lots of critical thinking, um, problem solving, lots and lots of things to learn. So um, yeah, and I'm really confident in teaching that as well. So I guess, you know, maybe if you are feeling like, yeah, so I, I think that um, math was my, my weak spot that I, I considered a weak spot because I always said, oh, I'm not good at math. Um, but I actually was, and I, I am. And I mean, I definitely excel in other areas, uh, but um, I can definitely, I'm definitely capable of teaching math. So that's just something that I've recently kind of been reflecting on. Okay, so number nine, are you involved in any co-ops or homeschool groups? What has your experience been in these groups? Um, we have done lots of different kinds of groups, lots of um, things like uh, Laser League. Um, we've done um, just some casual meetups, trampoline park, um, nature groups. Uh, at the moment, we're doing a co-op and it is by far the best that we've done. Um, it's based in a, um, a homestead and it's incredibly welcoming. We love all the people there and it's it's wonderful. So um, yeah, a really great experience. I think that just going in with open mind and um, not having too high expectations can help as well. Um, and be just be prepared to, to be flexible and uh, I think that that's probably helped a lot with us finding the places that we've gone and the groups that we've joined um, and making it a good experience because if you don't have too high an expectation, it can't be a bad experience. It can just be, you know, we're going in open mind. Let's see what, what we can get out of that. Okay, number 10, what is your approach? Charlotte Mason, eclectic, classical. Uh, we, I, I kind of consider us, in terms of what curriculum we use, we're obviously eclectic, we mix everything together. Um, but we definitely follow our children's interests. So I guess I'd like to throw in there interest-based or child-led learning. Um, but yeah, definitely eclectic in, in the sense of a curriculum and what kind of curriculum we like. And that's it. So I've really enjoyed these questions. It's been really interesting because I kind of don't stop and think about those particular things all at once. Um, I hope that you learned a little bit more about me. I, I've enjoyed sharing that information with you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, make a comment or you can connect with me on Instagram, on my Instagram account as well.